Today on the bench we're working on a Harbinger APS-15. It's a portable PA speaker uh, with a 15 inch woofer and uh, we're, we're looking at a situation that I guess occurs quite a bit with these where somebody will plug something into the line in uh, right here by the microphone jack you've got line one and line two or mic one and mic two you can use the line or the mic and uh, they will plug in some kind of a thing like an iPad or an iPod to put music out of the, the machine and in doing so sometimes they don't check the volumes before they do it and it damages the system well this one has no horn whatsoever so we went in and uh, pull this apart and, and I'm going to show you basically where the problem will lie on this type of a device. Uh, we've got the board here. This is the actually the EQ control board. You're going to have your five band equalizer. Uh, of course your volume controls for the, the different channels and then you've got your interface board for all your different XLRs, um, quarter inch jacks and RCAs and then this board here feeds down um, into this control board here which then feeds down into this crossover and then that will fire up your speakers of course we did a homage check on the horn and the woofer both of those are fine so we're still not getting any highs so typically you're gonna look at like these op amps you're gonna look at some transistors on this board that could have been damaged and on this particular one this is where I want to direct you. It's called Q105. It's uh, labeled on the board as Q105. And you've got a little transistor right here. Uh, it's an SMD. It's a SOT package 23. Um, you'll have to do some research because, of course, you know, all they have marked on them is M6. And you can't get a schematic for this particular model. So um, I've done a little bit of research on, on trying to find out what they were doing here with this channel. And uh, this is what's blown. And if you're having this same issue, it's probably going to be this Q105 that's been blown apart. Uh, you may want to check, you know, the little resistors around it, making sure that none of those are damaged. Um, and check some of these op amps. You know, you may have a blown op amp. You could have a, a Zener diode or something that's damaged as well. Uh, just be sure and check those things. But on this particular unit, this is where we had our problem. It's right here in this transistor. And uh, we're gonna get this guy up and fired it up here in a little bit and back out doing his music again. But just be sure, and if you're going to ever plug in to one of the line ports, with some kind of music device, make sure both the volume on the music device and the volume on the machine are down to zero before you start that process and gradually bring them up. All right, I hope this was a helpful thing. And this again is a Harbinger APS-15, pretty good amplifier. Okay, we're going to test the speaker out. We're going to make sure that we've got highs now that we've repaired it. Let's go ahead and kick the power on here first. I made sure that both of these volumes are all the way down. We're going to bring them up just a little bit on either of these and see if we have treble again now. Uh, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up so you can hear it on this camera. Test one, two, one, two. And we've got plenty of highs. Let's take some of those lows out of here. Test, one, two, one, two. Yep, so we got plenty. Testing, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Should have plenty of highs now, and uh, it's working great. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn that down. Um, we've got our highs back again on this poor little beast. Um, hopefully this guy won't redo what he just did. Always make sure those volumes are down if you're plugging in a device. Uh, like an iPod or an iPad, make sure that you've got this thing turned way down and the volume's way down on the iPad and gradually bring it up. You don't want to blow these out. Uh, I will tell you this, that you're going to have to use some special tools to be able to get into this Harbinger uh, APS-15. This um, extension can be bought at Lowe's. Uh, then you'll want this bit. Uh, it's a Phillips end but it's super, super long. It goes all the way in from here 
all the way to about down in here to the depth to that screw. So you're going to need all that and there's it's not going to take every type of adapter that you can put on their extension. So we had to go buy one that didn't have any width to it or any kind of um, flaring at the end. So hopefully that'll help you. Uh, Harbinger APS 15. Uh, we'll see you if you have any other questions or comments. Please post it up there and we'll try to get back with you.